right, lesson 26, learning the abacus. And we are doing subtraction in the tens column with respect to the number 10. So here we go, subtraction. Clear your abacus, and we are going to start with 43 minus 19. Now, if you went through the last problems, this is going to be a piece of cake. And it's fun adding on little piece by little piece. So here we go. Let's put the number 40. Oh, what are we going to 43 on the abacus. There's the number 43. And we are going to subtract or take from that the number 19. And the same thing with addition as we did in the, the addition part of this, is we start on the left-hand side of it and work our way that direction. And that's different from other types of math, your, your standard textbook math. This is different, but this is how we do it in abacus world. And so we're going to start here, and we're going to take from it 19. That means that we start with the number 1 in the tens column, because when you look at the number 19, there's a 1 and a 9. And so we are going to start here in the tens column and just take one beat away there in the tens column. That part is done. And now we need to take nine away from the ones column. And as you look at that and stare at it and think about it a little bit and you say, you know, I don't know that we can do this because there's not nine beads in the ones column that we can use. That's when we know we need to use complementary numbers. And when we're subtracting, we add the complement. And in this case, it's 1. 1 is the complement to the number 9. There we go. And we subtract 1 from the next column over. So there it is. 43 minus 19 is a 2 and a 4, 24. 43 minus 19 is 24. All right, let's do another one. That was fun. Let's do 22 minus 8. All right, 22. There is the number 22, and we're going to subtract from that the number 8. Well, the number 8 has a 0 in the tens column, so we don't do anything here. But it does have an 8 in the ones column. So here we go. We go, oh, and we look at that and say, hmm, I think we need to use complementary numbers here because... There's not enough. Well, since we're subtracting, we add the complement, and the complement of the number 8 is a, you got it, the number 2. And we subtract 1 from the tens column. And there it is. 22 minus 8 is a 1 and a 4. 14. 22 minus 8 is 14. All right, let's do one with two-digit numbers in both of them. Those are fun. Let's do 71 minus 19. So we put a 7 and a 1 here. 71 minus 19. All right, so we start here in the tens column. Work in that direction, remember? And a 19 is a 1 and a 9. So that means I take away 1 here, and I take away 9 here. Oh, look at that not enough beads. So we use complementary numbers. The complement to the number 9 is a 1. So I'm going to add the complement and take away a bead in the tens column. So 71 minus 19 is a 5 and a 2. 52. 71 minus 19 is 52. All right, here we go. Let's do a couple more of these. Let's try 93 minus 35. So let's put a 9 here and a 3 here. There's the number 93. And we are going to subtract from that 35. So we start over here. Our 35 is written a 3 and a 5. I take away 3 from the tens column. And I go to take away 5 here. Oh, how am I going to do that? Oh, complementary numbers. There we go. So I add the complement and take away 1 here. 
there it is. 93 minus 35 is a 5 and an 8. 58. 93 minus 35 is 58. All right, we'll do one more, and I think you will have this. Clear your abacus. All right, let's try this one. Let's do a bigger number, like 156 minus 98. So let's put the, I know we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves, but it's fun to end with a big number. So put the number 156 on your abacus. A 1 in the hundreds column, a 5 in the tens column, and a 6 in the ones column. There is the number 156. And we are going to take from that, or subtract from that, the number 98. Now the number 98 has a 0 in the hundreds column, so we don't need to do anything there. And we start here in the tens column. So we go to take 9 from that. Not enough beads. So that means we add the complement. The complement to the number 9 is a 1. And then we take this away in the hundreds column. And we move on to the ones column. There's an 8 that we need to take away there. Well, there's... Hmm. Okay. I see. We don't have enough. we got to use our complementary numbers. Since we're subtracting, we add the complement and take away one from the next column over. So there it is. 156 minus 98 equals a 5 and an 8. 58 is the answer to that. Now, I'm just guessing. I might be totally off on this, but I think we're starting to finally stretch your brain. This might be a little bit difficult. Or it might not. You might be a wizard that isn't just coming naturally. But just wanted to remind you, if you get to the point where you're going through the worksheet and you just can't remember quite what you're supposed to do, come back and watch this video again and see if it answers your question. And when you're done, we're moving on to the next section.